Hello everybody, in this video we are going to prove that every field is an integral domain. So if you are interested in that, then just keep watching the video. Yeah, please subscribe, it won't hurt. So to start the proof, we suppose a random field and we will use its features to prove that it is an integral domain. But before that, let's revisit the definition of integral domain real quick. So an integral domain is a commutative ring with identity 1 is not equal to 0 and containing no 0 divisors. Here 1 is not equal to 0 means that multiplicative identity that is 1 is different from additive identity that is 0. So we have two different identities in this ring. Also the uh, integral domain has no 0 divisors whatsoever. If you don't know what a 0 divisor is, I have a whole other video explaining its concept. It's pretty simple, so just check it out in the description box below. Okay, now let's compare the features of field and integral doma domain to understand what we need to prove. So both field and integral domains are rings. Both are commutative under multiplication. Both includes multiplicative identity. But the last feature is different. Field has multiplicative inverse of non-zero elements in it while integral domain has no zero divisors. So having no zero divisor is the only feature that field does not have by default. I'm going to give you a hint here that we will use the multiplicative inverses to show that field also does not have zero divisors. So first of all take two random elements A and B both belongs to F and A is a non-zero element and the product of A and B is equal to 0. We do not have any information about B right now that whether it is 0 or not. But to show that F has no 0 divisors, B has to be 0 as per the definition of 0 divisors. If you don't know what a 0 divisor is, you know what to do. Since F is a field, so every non-zero element has its multiplicative inverse in it. As we have taken A, a non-zero element from F, let's say A inverse is its multiplicative inverse in F. Now, multipl uh, now multiplying A inverse with AB, we got 0. Because AB is equal to 0 as per our assumption. And multipl multiplying A inverse with 0 gives 0. For further use, I'm going to name this equation as equation number 1 and keep it aside. Okay, now do the same thing in a different way. If we multiply A inverse with AB and apply associative law of multiplication on it, we get A inverse A multiplied with B. As an element being multiplied with its inverse gives 1, so A inverse A is equal to 1. So now A inverse AB is equal to B and we call it equation number 2. Now, by equation number 1, we got A inverse AB equals to 0. And by equation number 2, we got A inverse AB is equal to 1. So, combining both of these equations, we got B equals to 0, which is exactly what we want to prove. Hence, if two elements give 0 on multiplication, with one of them is non-zero in a field, then the other one is definitely 0. Showing that no zero divisors exist in a field. So at last look at the features of F one more time. F is a ring. F is commutative under multiplication. That's right. F has multiplicative identity. Cool. F has multiplicative inverse of all non-zero elements. And now F has no zero divisors in it. Sounds about right. So my friends, F has finally qualified to become an integral domain, hence proved. Please subscribe and share this video. Also leave your request down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and take care. Uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.